So this is for all the people that have trouble believing because they can't physically see God. And, you know, they can't see how people like me and other people believe in something that we just physically can't see. So God is in the details of our life, like literally everywhere. And this is something he showed me the other day. And, you know, you can chalk it up to a coincidence if you want to, but I personally do not believe in coincidences. I don't. I believe everything happens for a reason. And, you know, there's a reason for everything. And and God is my reason of why things happen. And this was so specific that I can't even make this up. Like, there's no making this up. So I got a new job last week or a couple weeks ago. And um, I was headed into work on Wednesday and I was late. And because I haven't really gotten everybody's phone number yet, I couldn't call them. So I'm headed in and I'm like 30 minutes late. And when I get there... I asked the chef, I said, hey, I need your number so I can call at least one person on my way to work if I'm ever running late or something happens and I can't show up. So I get his number first thing when I get there and it pulls up his business name, which is um, Lone Star. I'm not going to say the whole name, but it has the title Lone Star in it. And he didn't know that in Google, it pulls up his business name whenever you put in the phone number. And I tell him, oh, Lone Star such and such. He said, it says that? And I said, yeah. I said, I didn't even like, I just put your number in and it automatically pulls that up on Google. And he says, wow, I didn't know that it did that. I said, yeah, Google does that. I just type in a number. It gives me a business name if you have a business. And he says, No wonder I got that weird phone call. I said, what weird phone call? He said, well, some guy called me at 3.30 in the morning complaining. And he said, is this Lone Star gas station in such and such Texas? And he goes, no, it's not. And the guy says, oh, well, I just called to tell you that the milk was bad that I just bought there. The chef goes, Okay, this is not the gas station, but okay, sorry about your milk. And we were just like, that's weird. That's funny. And I kid you not, like 10 minutes later, we go to make gravy. And we use a whole thing of milk to make our gravy. And the milk was curdled. So go ahead and explain to me how that happened. I'll wait.